hello students so in this video of design of mechanical systems we are discussing design of cranes the second lesson we are going to discuss is the selection of cranes in previous video we have discussed the types of cranes there are basically four types of the cranes out of which single girder crane and double girder crane are most commonly used so when we are discussing the selection of crane now the question arises out of the single girder and double girder which should be selected actually both these single and double girder cranes are equally rigid and strong and durable but in case of the single girder and double girder the effective lifting height is different in case of a double girder the lifting height is more so we have already discussed in the previous video that in case of single girder crane the hoist is mounted on the lower side of the beam so the girder beam is i section and on the bottom flange the hoist is mounted whereas in case of double girder crane the hoist is mounted above the top flange of the girder section so because of which in case of double girder crane we get more height compared to the single girder crane so in single girder crane we have the span of 20 to 50 feet with maximum lift of 15 to 50 feet they can handle 1 ton to 15 ton in addition to the loads we also have to consider the speeds the motion part is re related to the different speeds of the crane component so there is a bridge speed there is a trolley speed there is a hoist speed so for the single girder crane the bridge speed is 200 feet per minute the trolley speed is 100 feet per minute and the hoist speed is 10 to 60 feet per minute these single girder cranes are suitable for light to moderate service these are more cost effective and are more suitable as a standby or where the infrequent use is there. So, in certain industries, the cranes are not used continuously, but they are used once in a day or very rarely. In such cases, these single girder cranes are more suitable. Also, the cost of the single girder cranes is comparatively less because the components the structural components required are less compared to double girder crane whereas the double girder cranes are faster it can have the bridge speed of 350 feet per minute the trolley speed of 150 feet per minute hoist speed of 60 feet per minute these cranes are useful for variety of uses so they can use for the regular use they can use for the continuous application they can also use for the intermittent applications also these can lift the variety of loads up to 100 tons the double girder cranes are having the high hook lift and the hook can be pulled so in double girder cranes between the two girders there is a gap and in that gap the hook can move up so the lifting height also increases in case of the double girder crane now when we are talking about the cranes there are two configurations of the crane one is a under running crane and one is a top running crane so in under running crane the rails or the main structure of the crane bridge is supported on the bottom flange of the runway girder so here you can see this is the i beam section and on this bottom flange the girders are going to move so this is the under running configuration so it is used for capacity up to 10 tons in top running configuration this is the i section of the main rail the total structure of the crane is mounted on the top flange over here so the crane bridge 
is going to move on the top flange over here and this arrangement is called as a top running configuration. In this top running configuration, we get more lifting height. So, these are the two configurations related to the crane. Thank you.